Welcome to this video on probability distribution 2. In probability distribution 1, I've discussed the short question which comes up in paper 1 SPM. In probability distribution 2, I'm going to discuss the long question which comes up in paper 2 section BSPM. Let's start with this question here. Senior citizens make up 20% of the population of a settlement. Part 1, if 7 people are randomly selected from the settlement, find the probability that at least 2 of them are senior citizens. So remember, we have only two types of distribution discussed in SPM, that is binomial distribution and normal distributions. This is a binomial distribution because you have the probability for success and you have a fixed number of trial, in this case n equals 7. For information, if this is a normal distribution, this will be stated in the questions. So we have x, that is the number of the senior citizen, is a binomial distribution. Now we have 7 people selected, n equal to 7. And probability for a senior citizen p will be 0 0.2. So we are dealing with binomial 7, 0 0.2. So remember for binomial distribution, probability x equal to r equal to n, c, r, p, r, q, n minus r, where your q equal to 1 minus p. So this formula is given in the formula list. So for this binomial 7, 0 0.2, p, x equal to r equal to 7, c, r, no, n is 7 right now. P is 0 0.2 power R, Q is 1 minus 0 0.2, which is 0 0.87 minus R. So for part 1, we have to find the probability that at least two of them are senior citizen. So we have to find X, at least two of them it must be more or equal to 2. You can see here your N equals 7. If you want to find the probability P, X more equal to 2, this equal to px equal to 2 plus px equal to 3 plus px equal to 4 plus px equal to 5 plus px equal to 6 plus px equal to 7. So you can see here the calculation here will be very tedious. So what we can do here is to use the total probability 1 minus probability x equal to 0 minus probability x equal to 1. So remember your r can take the value from 0, 1, 2 all the way to 7 and the total probability is 1. If you use 1 minus probability x equal to 0 minus probability x equal to 1, you will get the probability x equal to 2 all the way to probability x equal to 7. So now applying the formula, I have 1 minus 7c0. Now your r is 0. 0 0.2 power 0. 0 0.87 minus 0, which is 7. Minus probability x equal to 1. So in this case, r equal to 1, you have 7c1. 0 0.2 power 1. 0 0.87 minus 1, you have 6. You just press your calculator, you should get answer. 0 0.423832. So for part 2, if the variance of the senior citizen equal to 128, what is the population of the settlement? So remember, variance for binomial distribution equal to NPQ. That is the NPQ equal to 128. Remember, your P is 0 0.2, your Q is 0 0.8. This equal to 1 to 8. Therefore, N, that is the population of settlement, equal to 1 to 8 divided by 0 0.2, multiply with 0 0.8. This equal to 800. A club organizes a practice session for trainees on scoring goal from penalty kicks. Each trainee takes 8 penalty kicks. The probability that a trainee scores a goal from a penalty kick equal to P. So the number of goals score X is a binomial distribution where N equal to 8 and the probability for success that is scoring a goal equal to P. After the session, it's found that the mean number of goals for a trainee is 
4.8 mean equal to 4.8 for binomial distribution mean equal to NP therefore NP equal to 4.8 P equal to 4.8 divided by N which is equal to 8 the probability for P equal to 0 0.6 so this is part 1 to find the value of P for part 2 if a trainee is chosen at random, find the probability that he score at least one goal. So we have the probability distribution, probability x equal to r, equal to ncr, 8cr, your n equal to 8, p is 0 0.6 now, power r, and q is 1 minus 0 0.6, which is 0 0.48 minus r. So make sure you know this formula. This is given in the formula list. That is Px equal to R equal to N, C, R, P power R, Q, N minus R, where your Q equal to 1 minus P. Now we have to find the probability that he scored at least one goal. This is probability X more or equal to 1. This is at least one goal. This is equal to 1 minus probability x equal to 0. You get the total probability minus the probability x equal to 0, you will get the probability x more equal to 1. This equal to 1 minus applying the formula, you have 8c0, 0, 0 0.6 power 0, 0 0.4 power 8. Press the calculator, your answer should be 0 0.9993. The result of the study shows that 20% of pupils in the city cycle to school. This implies that the probability equal to 0 0.2, 20 divided by 100. If 8 pupils from the city are chosen at random, calculate the probability that Part 1, exactly 2 of them cycle to school. So this implies that the x, that is the number of students cycle to school, is a binomial distribution n equal to 8 and the probability for success equal to 0 0.2. Therefore, probability x equal to r equal to ncr, that is 8cr, p which is 0 0.2 power r, Q is 1 minus 0 0.2, which is 0 0.8, N minus R, that is 8 minus R. For part 1, you have to find the probability that exactly 2 of them cycle to school, that is probability X equal to 2. This equal to 8C2, 0 0.2, power 2, 0 0.8, 8 minus 2, yes, 6. Press your calculator. This will give you answer 0 0.2936. You have to give your answer in three significant figures. Therefore, the answer is 0 0.294. Part 2 now. You have to find the probability that less than 3 of them cycle to school. That is probability x less than 3. This equal to probability x equal to 0 plus probability x equal to 1 plus probability x equal to 2. Probability x equal to 3 is not included because you want to find probability x less than 3. Applying the formula, you have 8c0, 0 0.2 power 0, 0 0.8 power 8, plus when i equal to 1, you have 8c1, 0 0.2 power 1, 0 0.8, 8 minus 1, you have 7, Plus probability x equal to equal to zero point two nine three six. Press your calculator. Your answer equal to zero point seven nine six nine. Give your answer in three significant figures. This equal to zero point seven nine seven. Given that three percent of the battery produced by our factory are defective, if ten batteries are chosen at random. Find the probability that A, exactly two batteries are defective. So this is a binomial distribution. Your X is the number of batteries which are defective. is a binomial NP. So now you choose 10 batteries at random. So your N equal to 10. And the probability 
of the battery produced are defective equal to 3% which is 0 0.03 therefore your x is binomial your n is 10 your p is 0 0.03 so again for binomial distribution probability x equal to r equal to n c r so you have 10 c r your p is 0 0.03 power r your q equal to 1 minus p which is 1 minus 0 0.03 this equal to 0 0.97 so you have 0 0.97 n minus r which is 10 minus r if you are not familiar with this please must say it now this formula is given in your formula list that is px equal to r equal to n c r p r and q 1 minus r where p plus q equal to 1 for A now, we have to find the probability that exactly two batteries are defective. That is x equal to 2. So applying it into the formula, you have 10 CR. That is 10 C2. Your P is 0 0.03. Your R now is 2. Your Q is 0 0.97. 10 minus R, 10 minus 2, which equal to 8. So your answer should be 0 0.03174. So for part B, you have to find the probability that not more than two batteries are defective. Remember, the X here is the number of batteries that are defective. If you want to find the probability not more than two batteries are defective, this equal to probability X less or equal to 2. That is the number of defective battery is less or equal to 2. This equal to probability X equal to 0. You can x equal to 0, the number of defective equal to 0. Probability x equal to 1 plus probability x equal to 2. So applying the formula, probability x equal to 0 equal to 10 c 0, 0 0.03 power 0, 0 0.97, 10 minus 0, n minus r equal to 10 plus probability x equal to 1 is 10 c 1. Your P is 0 0.03, your R is 1, your Q is 0 0.97, 10 minus 1, you have 9. Probability X equal 2, you have found it, that is 0 0.03174. Just press your calculator, you will have an answer 0 0.9972. For part C now, you have to find the probability that at least two batteries are defective. So that is you have to find the probability x more or equal to 2. So for probability x more or equal to 2, you have to find the probability x equal to 2, x equal to 3, x equal to 4, 5, all the way under 10. So this will be very long. So the alternative you can do is you can use one that is a total probability minus probability x less than 2. That is 1 minus probability x less than 2 will be probability x equal to 0 plus probability x equal to 1. Apply this into your formula. You have 1 minus probability x equal to 0 is 10 c 0, 0 0.03 power 0, 0 0.97 power 10, which is you are applying into this formula here, plus probability x equal to 1 is 10 c1 then 0 0.03 power 1 0 0.97 10 minus 1 is 9 so press your calculator your answer should be 0 0.0345 in a survey carried out in the school it's found that two out of five students have handphones so the probability that the student have handphone equal to 2 divided by 5, which is 0 0.4. If 8 students from that school are chosen at random, calculate the probability that exactly 2 students have handphone. So this is a binomial distribution. X, that is the number of students have handphone, is binomial NP where your n equal to 8. You have 8 students here and the probability equal to 0 0.4.
4. So probability x equal to r equal to ncr, that is 8cr, 0 0.4 power r. Q will be 1 minus 0 0.4, which is 0 0.6. N minus r, your n is 8, 8 minus r. So make sure you know how to write out this probability. Part 1, we have to find probability exactly two students have handphones. So x equal to 2. x is the number of students have handphone. This equal to, applying the formula, now your r equal to 2. So you have 8c2, 0 0.4 power 2, 0 0.6. 8 minus 2 will be 6. This equal to 0 0.2090. Just press your calculator for your answer. For part 2, we have to find the probability more than 2 students have handphone. So more than 2 students imply your probability x more than 2. So probability x more than 2 means probability x equal to 3 plus probability x equal to 4 plus probability x equal to 5, 6, 7 to 8, which is a very long process for the calculations. So remember I told you, you can use this, that is probability x more than 2 equal to 1, that's a total probability, minus probability x equal to 0, minus probability x equal to 1. You have to minus probability x equal to 2, because 2 is not included, x is more than 2. So applying the formula, this equal to 1 minus x equals 0, so you have 8c0, 0, 0 0.4 power 0, 0 0.6, 8 minus 0, you have 8, minus 8c1, 0 0.4 0 .4 power 1, 0 0.6, 8 minus 1 will be 7, probability x equals 2, you have found in part 1, that is 0 0.2090. So if you press your calculator, the answer should be 0 0.6. Eight four six.